Okay, good evening, welcome to Awesome Math number 95A. Awesome Math number 95A. So today you were working on an old MOEMS test and this problem gave you a lot of trouble, right? Mm -hmm. And the problem was we write down a bunch of integers in this interesting pattern here. Yeah. And the question was what? What's the first number in the 13th row? 13th row. I'm going to give you an ultra challenge. What's the first number in the 101st row? Mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> All right? So, um, this is row one, this is row two, row three, row four, yep. etc. cetera. Yep. How in the world can we even think about solving problems like this? What do you think you need to do? Well, maybe, maybe, well, we can look at these digits there. What digits? The for the last digits, they're all square. They're all squares. They're squares of the of the, the row they're numbered by. Ooh, that's interesting. So, on a problem like this, we look for patterns. Yeah, patterns. And we see a pattern here. Yeah. It's not the last digit. It's the last number. Because yeah. that's not a digit. No. Right? The last number in each row seems to be what? It seems to, there seem to be the squares. All of them. All of those seems to be squares. So let's see if the next row ends in what number do you predict? 25. Okay, so how do you make the next row? So you add, you add another, you add like an, another one on the end and then 18, 20, 21, 23, did I miss a spot? Well, Got to be careful. What? How did we? Let me just erase what you wrote there. How did the previous rows line up with each other? Well, oh, because they go like this is under it. Straight down, yeah. Yeah. Twenty-one, twenty-two. Are we gonna get there? Are we gonna? Yes. Hey, we got two. Twenty-five. So, you were asked to find the first number in the 13th row. What's that going to be? 13th row would be, the last number would be 169. That's right. The last number in the 13th row would be 169, but that doesn't help us find the first number. Hmm. Well, maybe we can subtract to find, to, it seems we have to subtract the row number minus 1. And maybe we... It seems like because we have to subtract to get to we have to sub, we have to go back to these digits. Yeah. Well, they look like you have to go back zero, go back two, go back four, go back six. Ah, all right. So in the first row you have to go back zero. The second row you have to go back two. The third row you have to go back four. four. The fourth row you have to go back. Six. So it's six. The even numbers. Yeah. And that it's that it's that numbered. It's the row number that even number. So that you have to go back that row the row number numbers even number. Okay, so in the first row, how far did we have to go back? Zero. Then? Two. Two? Four. Four. Well, I guess we'd have to count this as the zeroth row. Hmm, that's all right. So what would the thirteenth row, what would the, that, if you, even if you started at zero, what would the thirteenth even number be then? Well, twenty-six. Well, you're counting zero, so yeah. you have to use twenty-four. Twenty-four, okay. So one sixty-nine minus twenty-four. One forty-five. That's the first number. That's the first number. So in now we have to repeat that process for the one hundred and first row. Except we're gonna do one other thing first. Okay. Yeah.